Hello audience, it is, Lu <coughs> it is Lucas here from Trinkly Charms, and today I'm going to be making a quick, quick upload. Now, this is not edited, as you can probably see, but I decided to show you how to make this nice, cute little creeper necklace. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so, materials are straightforward. So, first of all, we need cardboard, we need scissors, we need rope, and, um ink of course for your printer um, and uh, I think that's about it and uh, oh hot glue gun hot glue gun that's that's really important all right step one we need to go find our 8-bit images so uh, here I my um, Minecraft Steve and my little uh, Luigi but today I'm not gonna do the Luigi I'm gonna do Kirby but I'm just gonna show you the Luigi because I have it on my computer right Okay, step one or one, you're going to just print out your little, um, your, uh, image and cut it out. This is my rough sword, diamond sword, which is an 8-bit. I'm going to have a little rope here. But as you see, the cardstock or the paper is kind of floppy, unstable, and that, that we don't want that. So, we are going to, um, put on some cardboard. Okay, so first, we're going to have to glue it onto our cardboard. That's all good. And next, we're going to have to cut it out. But I'm going to show you a little tip. Um, I cut it out like this. So I, I make a incision here. All the way up to uh, here. And I go downwards like this. Uh, you can see here. It becomes something like this. And then I put it down diagonally, and I cut those out, so it 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 uh it cuts out easily, as you can see what I'm trying to do here. It's hard to explain, but that's visual is the best. So here we go. Okay, we go. Here we go. All right. See here, I cut out my little eight bit figure. Now this is that's my little tip for cutting out. You can do this on the paper and on the cardboard. All right, that's that's straightforward. Boom, it becomes something like this. See, nice cut edges. It's a bit rusty here, but I can fix that. If you don't like the rough edges, it's completely optional, but you would do this just to polish it up. I'm going to take some yellow or acrylic paint, whatever color you want. I'm just going to put on some paper like that. and uh, Or a palette, whatever you want to use. And then I'm just going to dab a teeny bit on your finger. And run it along the edges to cover up the rough edges. Just like this. Okay, I'm gonna do that just for that side. So that's pretty much it. Now, going on to step two, or step three. I'm gonna need to cut some rope. So, I, how I measure it is I put it up my um, thumb and uh, finger, and I roll it back all the way to my other shoulder and I make sure my out uh, my arms out straight and then I make a little cut just like that so didn't see that but here I go that's my um, proper sized rope really depends on what size of necklace you want uh, how far it goes and stuff like that but that's about it you could use any rope this is my or string this is my junk string I got from Dollarama it's, it's decent but you know, you could use whatever you want. Alright, so I adjust the two edges of my rope here. And I make sure they're aligned. And so the end over here is like a loop. Alright, I want to flip my Kirby up directly over. And I want to put my string in around the center. Just like that. Next, I want to hot glue on that, just right there, to make sure it's secure. Alright, that was magic in here. It quickly dries, and, um, you have your little hot glue, um, surface here. It's a bit hot still, but, uh, anyways. <laughs> Some stupid, but, no, it's not hot anymore. Okay. Um, so you see the string is here, and just, like, in case, in case with hot glue connected to the cardboard. I flip it around. It looks like my little Kirby necklace is actually not complete. 
All right, next step is I simply tie the end here. Okay, it's nice and tight. See the little knot there? And I'm actually doing the craft. I'm not actually looking at my hand. I'm looking at the screen that's recording it. Anyways, uh, here's your, your little Kirby. And, um, I'll show you how, like, if you want to display it, you can display it however you want. I have my little chick from Easter, because it's close to Easter. I just took my little, um, Kirby inside the Easter egg. But you know what I actually have to do? Let's check this out. I, this is how I usually display it. You display it however you want. That's what I'm displaying when I'm selling. I just take the necklace out. Put my diamonds in now. Okay, let's see. It's almost done. See, it looks something like just like this. Something basic like this, and probably have very tip top or the bottom just have something that's saying like um happy easter or let's just it's the wrong way or happy easter or um anything you want to say let's see here uh nice encasing this is my this is what i did while sewing yeah, okay i sold like i think i sold three i'm not so sure i only made five but here we are that's a nice little uh treat you oh, sorry craft you could do uh and sell so if you enjoy thank you and have a nice easter if it's easter for you my easter was yesterday bye